Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I am here with day 20 of the creative journaling prompts. And so part of uh, this creative prompts were to help inspire you to use your journals, to create pages in your journals, write in your journals, and hopefully this is inspiring you. Do check below in the description box, click show more to see all the information. And join us in the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group where we have a event where you can take pictures of your journal page that you created by the prompts and give us some inspiration and we can give you inspiration in turn. Today we are to create a mixed media journal page. Use at least three things to create your page. Either paint, fabric, stickers, color pencils, rubber stamps, stencils, and other embellishments to create your journal page and then write about something that is very important to you. So I've grabbed a few things from my stash. I've got a book page or two. These are from dictionaries. I had this little scrap of red paper. I have one of these little notepads that you can tear off. And then this is some fabric from Dust Fairies on fa Facebook. I used it to make the bookmark on day one and I had enough left over that I thought I'd use this as well. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move my journal out of the way for a moment. I've got this piece of paper. I've already applied a little bit of some distress inks on it. I was digging around over here and found this little scrap. I thought, why not use it? I'm going to spray this with some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. This is Radiant Red, and this is a color that was part of the Radiant Red Creative Box. You can still get a few of the Creative Boxes in my shop, or if you just want the Radiant Red, Glimmer Mist, you can get that in my shop as well. So I'm going to shake it up really well. And then I'm going to spray on this little piece. I like that. Okay, I'm going to also add a little bit of walnut gold to this. All right, now I'm going to use my heat tool and dry it. Now that the page is dried, I have the postmark collage. I hopefully we'll get this right one of these days. Postmark collage. I have a few of these in my shop. Uh, this is made by Beeline Designs out of Mustang, Oklahoma. She hand presses each one of these rubber stamps and it's cling mounted onto an acrylic block. I've got some archival ink jet black and I'm going to stamp that over this book page just to add a little bit more interest if you will. So I just add a little bit of texture to that. I've got this old dictionary page that I want to add just a little bit of some distress ink to the edges. So I'm going to do that really fast. And since I'm going to paste it on top of this other page, I'm just going to go right around the edge with a little bit of distress ink. So it's not so white around the edges. All right, so now I'm going to take this piece and let's glue it down somewhat in the center of our page here. I'm just going to use a Lean's Tacky Glue to do so. I'm going to take this little piece and I think I'm going to put it right up here in this upper corner and glue that down. I like how this almost matches in the way it was torn and I didn't do that on purpose. It just happened that way. So it's kind of interesting how that ha comes together sometimes. All right, so this piece I'm going to put on here and then I'm going to put this down here at the bottom. So I'm just kind of looking to see if I want to make any alterations to this piece. And I think I do. I think I want to stamp on these two edges. I've got the texture edges stamp and the archival ink again. I'm just going to stamp across the top and sides. I don't think I need to do the bottom since it will be covered up. Oh, I like that. I think I like the way that looks. All right, I'm going to glue these two pieces together. And I think I need one more layer in here. I think I need to break this up a little bit. So I'm going to look for a piece of black and see if I can put that behind there. I found a piece of black and I trimmed it to be just a little bit bigger. I don't care about the bottom because it's going to be covered up. And I think that is going to give us some nice contrast there. I'm going to glue these together. So here's where you could, if you wanted, to make this a pocket or a tuck spot. Just don't glue this all the way down and you'll have another pocket or a tuck spot. I don't need another pocket, so I'm just going to go ahead and glue it all the way down. 
I've got this little piece of fabric that I'm going to put right across the bottom here. So I'm just going to apply some glue to the back side. I've got a little word phrase that says life's an adventure. And I think that would look good on here. So let me try to see where it should go. Maybe right there. I think I'm going to put it right there. I've got a little bit of washi tape. I'm going to put some down here on the bottom. I'm using my bone folder to really press that washi tape down. I've shared this before. If you have a washi tape that don't stick very well, doesn't stick very well, rub it with a bone folder. And then if it still doesn't work, add a little bit of a glue behind it and then it'll stick better. All right. So I think I have my mixed media page because we use tattered angels. We use different book pages, some scraps of paper. We use fabric, washi tape, and a word phrase. So now it's time for me to journal what is important to me. Here is my journal page with the prompt on there. I hope you like it. So Today is January the 20th, 2020. I am to make a mixed media page and then write about or journal about what is important. My husband, Henry, is the most important thing in my life. Our marriage has been an adventure for sure. I'm so blessed to have him in my life. May we have many more years together. Love you, Henry. In fact, our wedding anniversary is coming up on January the 26th. We've been married since 1992, and I hope that we can continue to have many wonderful years together. Well, I hope you're enjoying, again, these creative prompts. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said before, do check below for the description box for details on where you can share your creative pages as well as any products that I shared here today. And if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, comment if you have any comments. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Do not go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time and again on Thursdays at 12 30 p.m central standard time i hope you'll join us thanks so much for watching everybody have a fabulous day bye